So this was your dream. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. That shit's broken. That shit's broken. Lie, 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 lie. Try to hide, but now you know it. I'm mad in all time. No, 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 no.
down slowly wondered why I liked the villains more, and I think it might be because when they get on the floor, down on their knees for her and only her, something in me stirs. A hero would sacrifice her to save the world, showing that they are indeed pure-hearted and honest, but a villain would tear the world apart if she was hurt. That is a promise. They seem selfish, manipulative, and rude to everyone around, but he treats her like a queen, his and only his, sitting beside him on a throne with her crown. I think villains are misjudged and that most of the time we don't get to see their story, for if we knew it, the hero may not seem so full of glory. Monsters are made, not born, and any soul tortured, confused, and abused incidentally would not have time to mourn. So the next time I defend the villain of the tale, Remember that they too were once broken and free. 